Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to draw eyes. And these are easy because most of the, the dragons you can draw they have the same kind of shape. In some sense, I will explain. Uh, we're going to start drawing a sphere or a circle. And that will be our, va our base for now. Ignore that, that's my cat. So we have this base is the number one thing we're going to draw. You don't have to draw this for every single dragon you draw, but it will help you get a, an outline of how it, it's supposed to go. So to create dragon eyes you have to get inspired by many other animals, but I would recommend felines or reptiles. For example, when you have like more light in the eye, the pupil goes something like this, like a slit, in, a, in cats for example, right? The more light, you have this, and the less light you have, it can be so wide, it can almost literally encompass the whole thing and look black. So we're going to have, this is the iris, so it could be big when the light is not on it and it can be like this when the light hits it so that's just like a quick overview of light now we're going to try to draw different scales on top of the eyes for example you can have the the eyeball which is a round sphere it goes inside the eye like inside the skull so you don't really need to to draw like the whole thing. You just have to draw a shape on top of it. And most of the eyes will look like this, like they have um, an oval around them. Because of the skin. Right? So you don't need to have like that round figure all the time. For example, this could be if our eye were like, I don't know, this is the white part, this is sclera, and this is the iris, and this is skin. Yeah, something like that. That could be just one example. I'm going to erase this, so pause the video if you need. So for example, the whole eye would be here, so when I'm working with it, just like imagine this is the whole eye and this is the skin folds around it, it's a different kind of eye and you can have many textures around it, you can have like scales, Something like this. That's fucked up. So we can have, for example, different kinds of eyes, like I don't know, sheep. Always base it around the circle, like the, this would be this. the eyes. Another kind of eye. There's so many different types of eyes you can do. But there's just some tips I want to give you about them, so we don't make this video that long. For example, imagine you have your granny head. That's like this, the side view, right? If you wanted to do the front view. Okay. 
this is what will happen. The eyes should be in front if your dragon is a carnivore. Of course, <laughs> you can make your eyes here, but that will look strange. Why would they be on the front? Because carnivores hunt and they need their eyes. Anyway, it's an interesting fact. You may want to have, have in mind when you draw your bags. So, for the side view, they will go somewhere here. If you grab a skull from an animal, you depends on the animal you grab, of course. You can probably see that they have the skull. It's not a hundred percent anatomically correct. Please just. Oh. You have your skull. And something like this, okay? It's not like a hundred percent color. But they go here. Not here. And not here. Because here are the ears. Here is the nose. You have to keep them like, separated in a distance. And as I told you, depends on the animal you research. You can have, for example, horses and they have the eyes on the side of their heads, not on the front. So that's a different thing. The horses are herbivores, so when you're drawing a dragon based on a horse, try to, uh, well, have that in mind, okay? And that's like another example of eyes. And you can have many different kinds of eyes, from, I don't know, crocodiles, to llamas, to lions, to dogs, to cats, to anything. If you want to do a cartoon dragon, for example, it's just trying to simplify the details. For example, you have the eyes here, and you want to have like a little glow, shine on the eye. You can exaggerate that. And you like this. Scales on top of it. That's for a more cartoony look. Dragon. And I have another tip for you. Imagine you have your dragon head. We're going to draw this little dragon head twice. So the smaller the eyes, the bigger the creature looks. Okay. So this would probably be huge dragon, this could be like a velociraptor one. Imagine in this case you have a whale. Mm, you have a whale. Whales have really tiny eyes. And in this case, I don't know, you can have a bird. They have huge eyes. I try to, to have an animal's reference always. Of course, maybe this is not based on a whale, maybe this is not based on a bird, but that's not the point. The point is that if you see, for example, an animal that has big eyes, it's for a reason. And small eyes, it's for a reason as well. Just imagine a whale with eyes like this, that would be so skinny. So that's like the best tips I can give you for eyes, because that's the main part. Remember, the order of the things I said. So, I'm going to repeat them here. So I think the number one got stuck here. So, the one is the base, which is the eye. It's a sphere shape. Always have in mind the circle. The second, try to focus on the shape of the iris, which is this part. And the third would be at details. Remember, these are just tips. It's not like the only way to draw eyes. There are so many other ways. But I just wanted to give you the basic outlines on how I draw the dragon eyes I make and why. Like this is the most uh, basic things, I think. Okay. So, 
big ups. Like, you can think of the size of the eyes, and the why, the smaller, the bigger the animal looks, and the bigger the eyes, the smaller the animal looks. And the position. Carnivores have them on the front, herbivores have them on the side. And that's for, for now, I think that's all. It's you can have fun with many different eyes from now on. So thank you for watching guys, if you really like this video please subscribe and share and all comments are welcome and constructive criticism is as well. Thank you for watching, bye bye!